All right, here we go. Zach is driving in Texas on the way to Junction, Texas for gas. Been driving about 20 minutes. It's already been total disaster as far as traffic, which is good. But he's got his hands at 10 and 2. Cruise control set. Going 80. Now cruise control is not set. <laughs> so he's got to practice. And here we go. And of course, and you're checking, yeah. So you're checking, like, how soon is the car coming up? So you know, okay, I want to get over before they get here. A lot of times you want to do that because otherwise you have to slow down. So if you get over in front of them without cutting them off, then you get to go first and not have to slow yourself down. So that's what we did. And, of course, plenty of room up ahead. And he's going to check when he can change lanes, signaling and looking over his shoulder. And sometimes people behind you come around you on the right and then you smack into them if you don't look, so that's why you do that. You can tell me just how you're doing, how, if you like how you're doing. I told him he'd get good at freeway driving, but uh, very good. See, that's good. He's already learning. He noticed the truck, and that's exactly why we get over. See, the truck pulled out, and he's good. So he got over for the truck while it was stopped to give him room in case, you know, he's getting out of the vehicle or something, and he ended up wanting to get on the road, so we also helped him do that. But Zach observed it on his own, which means he's learning. So I didn't have to even tell him. I didn't see it as soon as he did. So he's keeping an eye on the road. Just like you're scanning behind you where the cars are. So you know where everybody is. So if you have to get over right away, you know where the cars were. Even though you're going to look anyway, you still know, hey, there was nobody beside me five seconds ago. And they're way back there. So I'm probably all right. In an emergency, you got to do something. You're always aware of where everybody is, but you always look if possible, especially unless you're going to get a head on collision and you just got to get out of the way. But that's why you want to know your surroundings. And you see, this car is coming behind you here. Are you accelerating away from him or is he catching up to you? So you want to observe that. Doesn't look like he's catching up. Good. So now you've got to get over in your middle, right? At least you're not jerking the wheel every time you look over. You just got to practice not lifting your, uh, moving your hands when you move your head. That's one of the keys to driving. And signaling. Very good. Nice bottom run. And that's about it. Any, anything else you're learning on driving? Not really. Yeah. So in town's gonna be hard still. Done a lot of in town practice, but this will get him good on the freeway. He'll be better than most people on the freeway. We had the air conditioner filter took it down. I guess it's just too clogged. It kinda of does look like shit, but I can still see light through it, so I don't know, I guess it's enough. But without the filter it blows good. I'm not worried about it for an hour, but we're gonna replace it. Because it was froze over and not getting cold and it's only 88 out and I got hiccups right now so anyway alright we're done and Zach's going to drive on because I did a lot of driving stuff 